Hi right, guys, a uh, quick little video here, it's more of a trip down memory lane. Now there won't be anybody on the internet who's not heard of radio spares components. Um, but back in the 1970s, radio spares had a strict policy. They only sold um, to the trade, they wouldn't sell spare parts for the, to the general public. So somebody at radio spares must have had a bright idea and thought to themselves, why don't we set up another company selling radio spares, um, spare parts and things to the um, general public. So back in July the 10th, 1974, radio spares set up another company called Dorham Electronics. And that stood for the doorway to amateur radio. Um, now this was a brand new company back in 1974 supplying genuine radio spares components straight to the general public. So here I've had a look through my archives. Um, I've got this magazine, Everyday Electronics, from my archives. It's October 1974 as you can see there. And that, that is a full page advert. It's probably one of the, one of the first adverts they placed in the magazines these. Um, for Dorham Electronics. Now everybody's heard of radio spares but there's very very few people now even remember Dorham. In fact if you do a search on the internet you'll find there's very very few reference to Dorham Electronics. Um, because it was a radio spares company and they sold top quality parts everything they sold was of the uppermost quality and they started doing um, kits what you build yourself. Now I've had a look through my archives and I've got a, a couple of things to show you here that, uh, that came from Dorham that you probably never ever see again uh, now. So if you just give me a second, I'll stop the camera. Right, so here we are. I've got two um, pieces of test equipment. These were both built um, from kits supplied by Dorham Electronics in the 1970s. Um, now take a good look because you'll probably never see these again or anything like it. Uh, we'll go first to the audio millivolt meter. Um, you can see everything's absolutely top quality. Now I've loosened the lid so we can have a look inside. Right, that's the inside of the millivolt meter. Um, you can see everything's um, really quality and really high tech. Um, I'll move over in a second to the function generator. So that's that one. So we move to this side. Um, that was built from a kit in the 1970s. That's the Dorham function generator. I've removed the lid on that one. And if you have a look in there, the absolute complexity of that is massive for a 1970s kit. Now obviously things like this were very expensive in them days. So you go to the back there. Dorm Electronics, and that's the old Radio Spares um, address, P.O. Box TR8 Wellington. Right, I'll just move on to something, I'll just stop the camera and just move on to something else. Right, again from the archives, I've pulled out an old practical wireless. Um, this one's dated February 1977. So we turn the page over. Um, there's an advert for Dorham. That's another kit. It's a car lights on alarm. And it's actually built in a little box called, uh, they used to sell the box separately, called a Samos box. Um, now it just happens that I've got these same boxes here still in stock. Uh, let's turn it to the... That's the picture they're showing there, the little box. Uh, I've quite a few of these still in. Here we've got the practical wireless July 1977. We turn the page over. Um, here's an advert for uh, Dorham kits. Um, that uh, you're looking at there is a quad resolver where you could get um, four channels from two on stereo. Um, there's a couple of other kits there. They've got um, a digital multimeter kit, uh, rechargeable spotlight. 
Now if you take a good look at that there, the quad resolver, um, when you first, um, I showed you the first video, I showed you a box with some RS parts in. The parts are actually um, part of this kit. I don't know where the rest has gone, it's been lost, but there are some parts that came from this kit in July 1977. So I'll just give it a second. Right, there we go. That's what was in the photograph at the beginning. Um, as you can see, got the radio spares, knobs, the switches, and the front panel there. That is actually there. Um, the speaker sockets. So that is a part of a Durham kit from 1977, the quad resolver. Um, I don't know where all the rest of bits have gone. They've been lost over the years, but one day get a suitable Vero box and it should be um, possible to reconstruct that kit and make a replica of it. So um, thanks again for watching guys. I hope you like this video and um, subscribe to my channel for more. Um, I've got lots more stuff in the archives I could show you. Um, just keep subscribing. Okay, bye.